Hello everyone, I'm Vivi and welcome! Sly Cooper Thieves in Time has turned 10. The game was released back on February 5th, 2013, along with Bentley's Hack Pack. The latter was a game packed with various Bentley hacking minigames, with a very nice credits sequence. Both these titles were released on the PlayStation 3 and the Vita. Technically, North America received these games on the 5th. PAL regions actually got these later. Oh, and if you didn't know, the game was delayed back then. It was originally planned for 2012, but then moved to 2013. Speaking of PAL regions, I recall PlayStation Australia tweeting about its 9th anniversary, stating that sadly, it was the last one in the series. How does one perceive this tweet is the question. In fact, yes, Sly Cooper Thieves in Time was the last entry. After all, the game has turned 10 years old, and we haven't seen any other game since. Others might take their tweet as a definite goodbye to the series. I personally feel that the fate of the series falls in the hands of time. Only time will tell about the future of this franchise. At the end of the day, Sony owns the IP. Who knows if a new team ever approaches Sony in the hopes of a green light, especially if it's first party studio we're talking about. We also can't forget the elephant in the room. Sucker Punch's statement from July 2022. New Sly Cooper game rumors kept going on for almost a year, and on that day, Sucker Punch shut down all of it. They stated that there were no plans to revisit the franchise. Same for Infamous. They also added how other studios weren't working on any projects related to any of these IPs. But they did add a little something at the end. Never say never. Who knows if with time they decide to re-explore Sly Cooper. If not them, then perhaps another first party team as stated previously. Now I keep saying this thing about first party, well that's because Sly Cooper Thieves in Time was developed by a third party team, Senzaru Games. The way this fourth game was green lit, Back then, around 2008, Sanzaru was working on Secret Agent Clankport from PSP to PS2. Knowing that Sucker Punch was busy with Infamous, they thought, hey, since we're fans of Sly Cooper, why not make a game? They got their PS3 dev kit, presented a sandbox-like little prototype to Sony, and they were impressed by it. So impressed, in fact, they sent that demo to Sucker Punch. And they eventually got that green light for both a sequel and an HD collection for the PlayStation 3 and Vita. Sanzaru and Sucker Punch did collab to some extent. Sanzaru would send different builds to Sucker Punch and they would receive feedback. A very interesting revelation happened back in December 2019. Matt Kramer, lead designer at Sanzaru, was interviewed by Kinda Funny Games. He mentioned how Egypt was supposed to be the original first episode. But the one thing that really caught our attention is the fact that Thieves in Time had a DLC planned for Egypt eventually. Heck, they even had the whole script written down, on paper. It just never saw the light of day. Although Sanzaru was still interested in making more Sly, they shortly afterwards got bought out by Facebook's Oculus. Speaking of Egypt, you can find concepts of that episode drawn by Paul Sullivan. Just looking at these, you just can't stop wondering what could have been if Sly had continued with the DLC. When it comes to Thieves in Time, I always think back to that moment we stumbled on that teaser hiding in the HD collection. Just seeing Sly shadow peeking out of those bushes, the visuals and all. Those were very, very fond memories. Although Sly 4's writing wasn't on par with the trilogy, I still appreciate the game for what it is. And hey, in the end, we got another Sly game. The gameplay was enjoyable. I loved the idea of playing as different ancestors. Tennessee Kid Cooper still to this day is my favorite playable ancestor. I also absolutely loved the new direction for those animated cutscenes. And yeah, ending it with the cliffhanger, it does suck. If with time we get a new game, if they decide to make a sequel after all this time, I'd imagine them taking the rift upon part root. Make a game that stands on its own, while also act as a sequel. That way the game could appeal to both longtime and new players. 
if not for a sequel, perhaps a remake of the trilogy, but that would still leave us with that cliffhanger. Only time will tell when it comes to the fate of the series. With that said, do you have any fond memories with these in time? Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments section below. And as always, a thank you to my patrons for supporting the channel, it's very much appreciated, and a thank you viewers for always tuning in. I've been Vivi, and until next time.